so in this lesson so we are going to learn about C preprocessor directives and we will take a look at many examples so let's have our first example of C preprocessors and we will start step by step and learn a lot of things the first thing is file inclusion okay so when we make big projects so we include a lot of files so in every file there is hash include some file and there is chance of multiple inclusion and this multiple inclusion will bloat the file size or the executable size and hence we want that okay we just want to include the particular file only once even if someone has written to include the code a lot of times so what we do is for each of the header files we define some string so like let's say that string dot edge so I have multiple files in my project and I want that okay string dot h if I have included it once then it should not be included anytime more so what I do is I define if not define string included so initially for the first time when we do so this string included so this is not defined and hence so it's not defined so it defines strings included so now it is defined and we include string dot h so what happens now is that okay so this code is executed once only when string underscore included is not defined so if someone writes a code again here like if not defined string included then only we should include string dot h so what will happen is that it will not be included the next time so this one if not defined string included is used to set a flag saying that okay now this string dot h has been included and it should not be included so we will check the flag each time when it is included and we will include only once so next let's see the next example so which is now about hash define so hash define defines some value so this is hash define val 35 so it means in the C because it's a C preprocessor so whenever in the code now the compiler sees val it will be replaced by 35 and similarly the identifier hello will be replaced by the string hello so next we have some more hash defined so these are identifiers USA euro dinar and they define so this is one these are all zeros so it says so now we have some hash includes so let's see so what we have here is we have if define USA then define currency rate as 46 so we are trying to do some kind of currency conversion else if defined euro then we do right define currency rate as something else so whatever is defined which is true so we will use that one so else if defined dinar we use defined currency rate as 100 so this is again kind of based on whatever identifier is defined so we will make the currency rate is equal to that so now let's come to the code so we see residue is equal to val minus 5 
so when the compiler compiles this code so it sees val and it goes to the hash define finds the value 35 replaces it here and finds 5 which is equal to 30 so this residue now becomes equal to 30 and it is printed here as 30 and then printf percentage as hello so hello so this identifier will be replaced by a string hello so now so these are clear now hash define macro so let's have some more macros so these two words so underscore underscore file and underscore underscore line so these are two C preprocessor directives so this tells at which line of the code we are uh, which file we are working on now it's getting executed and this one which line we are of that file so when I say that okay print print of C file is this and line number is this so line number of this file and the name of the file will be written at the output so next let's come to I want to find I've given some foreign currency value and now I want to calculate it in the Indian rupees so what happens is the foreign currency is 20 so now we saw that okay we had defined USA as 1 euro as 0 and dinar also as 0 it means USA has been defined so this is now kind of code compilation which is dependent upon these identifiers so if USA is defined so this part of the code will be executed if euro had been defined and not USA so this part of the code has been executed so this is called conditional compilation so this is conditional compilation and used very much a lot in some processor some code for some machines in which the same code is going to be used in some kind of 64 bit machine 32 bit machine and based on that we have different codes so this is conditional compilation based on some identifier and so this we learnt and let's try to execute the code and just see it for ourselves so we run the code and we see here that okay when the val minus 5 is equal to 35 minus 30 is equal to minus 5 that is 30 hello c and the file is main dot c and line number was 35 using the underscore underscore file underscore underscore and line directives and value in indian rupee is 920 because usa was defined so 20 into 46 is 920 so this is what is the base 